Um, I'm here with Mr. Octopus Inc. and we are going to uh, take some time and look at some matches from uh, the greatest UK player of all time based Jonesy, aka Jonesy, aka I know his name but I'm not going to say it. Uh, I am the president of his fan club and we are going to uh, enable him to score many victories with his very low tier team in the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinites. Uh, yeah. Very low tier. Very, very, very low tier. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this is, I believe that we're only going to look at the two matches that he lost, and we're going to look at the sets because he just sort of dumpstered everybody that he won. Um, I'm sorry, Tony. Um, so this is him against Jake. Jake is arguably the best player of the UK bunch. Um, Jake did not win the tournament, but Jake also kind of flubbed things at the very end and threw away a very, very solid chance at victory. Um, and Jake is currently playing Drip's team except with Soul. So... Okay. Which is, yeah, that's a good team. Okay, it's a very let's... good team. Uh, yeah, that bolt was super punishable, especially um, without a drag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've I've gone through and, I, and I've 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 looked at some of these things and I've got some big picture stuff and I don't want to be pausing too too much. Okay. Um, you can... But uh, yeah, that's you basically never want to bail pressure with bolts there. Um, bolts is is incredibly incredible and safe. Strange has. As far as I know, Strange basically has two things that you can do to end pressure that aren't turbo dump. Uh, you can do that, um, or you can do some variant of that. And everything else yep. that he does is challengeable in some way. Um, bolts, you can just duck. Uh, so if you're just crouch blocking, um, you want to crouch block? Oh, oh sorry. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if, 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 if you don't throw something. Um, but yeah, the point like is that it's fine. You can crouch block bolts. If he does anything else, you can just launch him. So if he does like, oops, um, I I can't, yeah, do, I, I can't I can't do any quarter circles. But but the you point is that down back. Oh, uh, which one are you trying to do? This? Uh, no, I'm, no, I'm I'm trying to do this. Uh, oh, okay. yeah. You, you can't uh, block string that because if if they don't push block, they can uh, launch you. You can't block string into this because if they don't push block, they can launch you. You can't block nope. string into this because if they duck, you die. Um, nope. And then this and this are both unsafe. So basically, um, given that you don't I will want to say tag this there, isn't the worst option. A lot. This gets away with a lot of bullshit. Just um, oh, wait, sorry. What's the worst? I. I said, I'm saying, especially like oh, distance yeah, 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 yeah. speed. That's pretty good. Only the light one. Yeah, that's pretty good. And also, yeah. if if they're not on the ball of challenging, just just put I out. Um, oh yeah. I is yeah. hella challengeable. Like if if they preempt with push block or they launch, then then you die. But that's, um, I don't want to criticize Jake's play too much. Like, for example, the fact that you somehow didn't die at round start, um, given his team has like the best round start in the game. Um, yeah. But right here, you essentially gave him a hit on a silver platter, and that's not great. Uh, good news is that he can't convert. So, um, you mean that player or that character? Because I think he. Uh, Jake, 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 Jake. Okay. Um, I don't want to nitpick too, too much, but you've played uh, Drip and, and or other Spencer players a decent amount, right? Yes. Well, I've played, put it this way, I've lost to Drip many times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. one of the things that, that I have noticed against uh, Spencer is that you can't do this and hang nope. out. Um, nope. And you, you also can't do that with Dante because he's just going to zip at you. So one of the things that, that uh, I try to do when I play Spencer is I just do this and I do nothing. Because if he zips at you and you're doing nothing, he's not in a great spot uh, if he doesn't actually get the hit. Um, so a lot of what I do when I'm playing neutral against him is I sort of jump around and make it look like I'm doing something and I try to catch a bad movement. Um, yep. And I try to, to do stuff with that. And I think that there's a lot of opportunities during the set where rather than respecting Jake's ability to Spencer at you, you don't. And he doesn't convert anywhere near as well as he should. But still, it's it's the like this right I mean, here. Yeah, yeah. So so this is he Spencer's at you. Um, here you're sort of autopiloting on defense instead of putting yourself in a position where you can actually challenge. I think that that's 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 a difficult thing to to do. But um, you play Dante, and I don't necessarily want want to go into all of the options uh, right now. But when you're defending in a fighting game, it's it's important to do things that make sense given the options that you and your opponent can both do if that makes sense um and i think that <clears throat> i would argue that, that sort of jumping up and pressing roundhouse isn't 
great there. Um, but yeah, that's just a, a thing. Oh my gosh, Dante's happening. I had gone for a side switch mix up during the uh, book. Like just one single one, just see if you can do it, and especially put him back in the corner. Ooh, that yeah. Was... So I know what you did there, and you do this a lot. You do this constantly. Whenever you Helmbreaker, you do that every time um, autopilot. And I think that it is worth noting that Helmbreaker is a special, um, I believe. Is it? Yeah, Helmbreaker, or sorry, Helmbreaker's a normal. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. So that was not, not what I wanted at all. But um, so you don't necessarily have to basically it has a shit ton of grounded recovery but you can just cancel the grounded recovery into grounded stuff too um so you don't uh -oh. need to do this every time um you can mix it up you can do other things you can i mean you can convert off that if, if you're really sharp and, and you get it at a decent time but um i think like this is convertible um and, and much better against counter switch maybe um the the, the point though is that uh if he push blocks this and you just autopilot into with hammer, you're gonna with hammer over here and hammer has a billion grounded recovery frames and it's not great. Whereas if you're autopiloting to like this from half screen, that's that's a much better option. Or, I, I don't know, um, other stuff. Dante can do whatever he wants. Bold move. Um, and and I think that, uh, I, and I realize we're, we're getting bogged down in like the second interaction of the game. But the reason that you drop that combo is because you cross yourself up and then you accidentally got that uh, because you were on the other side and you were trying to input the hammer. Um, and I think that you should not have necessarily been in that situation to begin with, if that makes any sense. And here you get something. That was an interesting decision. I think that you, well, a couple of things there. Uh, first of all, that was a panic book and that's yeah. fine. Uh, you're allowed to panic. Um, but that, Tag crash connected, right? I'm not crazy. Yeah, rewind it a little more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I apologize. This is not. OK, so you tagged no, late. No, it, like it did not. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, two things. First of all, you, you tagged late. And second of all, you didn't do anything. Strange doesn't get the best mix off of tag crash. But like, uh, he gets something, you know? Like, um, you can, if you can short hop. Oh my god. Uh, you, you could short hop, you could do a low, you could do palm nothing to see if he's pressing buttons. You could intentionally not hit with the tag crash and just go for throw, and he gets combos off throw, uh, which I, I swear. <laughs> you, you, you could uh, teleport um, if, if, if you're feeling uh, risky. The, the point is that uh, I think that backing off there without at the very least, you know, checking him with uh, that, right? Because again, you can, you can convert if that hits, um, is, is a little bit lazy. Uh, but that's just a thing. I think that uh, I'm not the best at tagging on time, um, but you should have been uh, looking out for it. Uh, that, he does this to you a lot. Um, Jake is doing, uh, I'm, I want you to block low and then throw me uh, when you're tagging the yeah. game. You yeah. good? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, 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 that wasn't actually an yeah. overhead. Strange doesn't actually have an overhead. But the point is that if you just sort of mash throw during this, um, yeah, let's do it again uh, for the sake of demonstration. Um, if he's mashing, oh, throw, I was, uh, yeah, I was mashing something else. Can't go through. <laughs> okay, um, Spencer's overhead is really slow, right? I um, fucked up. Sorry. Whatever. Uh, the, the the point. I did it the first time. I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Spencer's overhead is is is, is really slow. So um, I would be intentionally blocking the first low. And then just mashing the living crap uh, out of throw, and then yep. just trying try cool. to throw him. I, I am making this very hard by doing a much faster button than Spencer overhead. What what does he have that's slow? Uh, Spencer? No, uh, Spencer. It's, it's, oh, um, that's slow. It's all slow. What do you mean? What does he have that's uh, slow? Okay, what, I, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll I'll like wait, and then we'll do standard times or something. Okay. Um. The other yeah, other that... thing that you can do is uh, when you're push blocking in this game, if you switch block directions, you block both. So you can block low, push block, and then switch to high. And then for 13 frames, you'll, you'll block both, um, yeah. which is fun. 
Well, and if you get so. really bold, you can hold forward and get another one. But I don't know. I don't do that stuff. Well, you know what I'm talking about? No, 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 no. Uh, this game has really robust cross-up protection in general. Like, basically, if you're in blocks, you can't be crossed up. Um, it's, it's only high-low that you get the, the first block protection. Um, um, have you seen Rambam's video on blocking? Do you know what I'm talking about? I, I, I I'll think, find it. I'll find I, it. This is a different yeah, thing I, I, for I think time. we're talking about the same thing. Okay, so this... Yeah. Um, oh, he doesn't do it here. Uh, there's a point in, in this set where... Um, Oh, it was a panic box. I think that in general, panic boxes are a super bad idea, um, um, despite the fact that I do them all the time. Um, and you gotta also just quick note: uh, do the level three on the first bolt; it'll always hit, and never do it on the second because it often pushes them out. Yeah. Um, there, you just weren't aware of counter tag safety, and you just weren't really doing a smart thing, which is fine. This is a very panicky match. Uh, I believe. Yeah, you went for a book i think he was trying to build uh, enough meter for, to get a book at the end of that combo and just missed it okay. do you want me to go down no no that's fine okay. uh no i mean that all just felt super panicky after the the counter switch situation um, yeah and then here this is just jake not soloing for some reason that was a really risky conversion attempt, I think. Yeah. Um, I, I I believe that you just had better combos than that, and so I don't necessarily need to say anything. Also, something that XC mentioned in the video that you did with him mm -hmm. about, like, using, if you're already hitting with the bolts, using it to push all the way to the corner. I don't do it because it's not advantageous for my oh, specific mean, setup. Um... Yeah, and then picking up from there. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, so also bear in mind, like, Which I, you I, just I, didn't do. So. I, I I don't necessarily know if, if if how much you do this, but your team has the most absurd corner carry in the game. Like. Yeah, everything should just always go to every corner. Always. I don't know why you would have given it up there. Oh, are you just like, demonstrating that you can go back yeah, across the you, screen. If if, if yeah. you're competent, you you get more than one lap. You get literally more than one wow. lap. Um, so, yeah, you can be wherever you want, and we'll, we'll talk about setups and stuff there. Um, he's oh, that an good. idiot. That's nice it. conversion, though. Yeah, uh, I think you probably could have level one and killed the assist if you weren't on point with that. Um, there's the autopilot into the ha uh, hammer again. Uh, you should hammer sometimes, I think, but I don't think you should do it anywhere near as often as you're doing it. And yeah, it's good for conditioning. Good. Yeah. Um, that was just a super a super clean conversion off of the resource situation that he gave you. I think that I really don't like playing space against soul. I think that the amount of time that you get in a box is not long enough to fully lock out soul. And the amount of mix that a competent soul user gets if they manage to get a sandwich situation is much higher than you get from, from box. So it feels super uphill. Um, yeah, agreed. Agreed. Yeah, I mean, I try to negate it with do everything you can to like lock them together during you know yeah, yeah, yeah. i it, but J strange can do it so much right. that if like hey if you mess around in soul too much you're just going to get hit and get happy birthday there was a much better round start from jake um and then i think that you neglected to take an opportunity to block if that makes sense um when he was going for jam session down i'm not saying that he necessarily needed to block but uh if you had then he would have been in a terrible situation uh, that was just an unfortunate drop. I think he went for a combo that was way more complicated than what I would have been doing there. And, yeah, and bad placement for the eye. You, you gotta, you gotta lose space for Spencer to be Spencer. If that makes sense. Um, I think that you are not as annoying with falling buttons as you could be. Um, I'm going to go back to the game for a moment. But if, if you are up backing on somebody, like your panic up backing. Um, falling Palm is the most egregious button in the best. a fighting game. Amazing. And Falling Heavy is not bad either. Like, uh, this yeah. thing is crazy, but, like, I get a lot of people with the... But this this is, like, faster than Dante's Lights. It has the hitbox that you think it has, and if, if it catches them in the air, you just get a trivial full yeah. conversion. And if it catches them on the ground, you usually get a trivial full conversion. It's it's just a little bit less free. Um, I, I'm not saying do it 100% of the time, but I'm saying that... Um, there have been a lot of times where you've been in a situation where Jake is not respecting you doing falling buttons, 
um, and you don't do falling buttons, you know? So, yeah. good read on him. You could have thrown the shit out of Spencer and or killed him. If you had been mashing palm, that was a free throw. Mash palm. It's Mr. Pussink out here is uh, not a mash bomber. Yeah, he's a mash back thrower because he got mid buttons. You know, just to prove my point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not talking to the game. Um, okay, so you did a thing here that I, I, I spent a moderate amount of time like, like, like verifying and uh, talking with, with, with Mr. Pussink about. But I think that almost always when you box, and I'm tapping into the game right now, almost always when you box, uh, it is worth doing... You would much rather do a very short combo. Uh, and then... I. See, literally zero execution. You'd much rather do this, but... a very short combo and then, you know, do one mix and then level three. Uh, Always. This yep. Yep. massively increases the amount of damage of your combo because the two short combos are going to do more damage than you did with the level three previously. And the level three is going to do damage on top of that. It's, it's ridiculous. You can do, like, three piddly little, like... Uh, you basically do that, you box, you do it again, you box, and then I need to level three and you've killed a character. Yeah. Um, and especially if you like did a combo into box activation. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, and, and you should you should experiment with with that, but both both of your characters can do it relatively well. Um, and it if you had done that here, you would have killed Dunte. Uh, which means that you would be in a much better resource situation. Um I want to mention very briefly that I think Strange's high low mix is better than I thought it was previously. Um, I don't think it's great, uh, but I think that like the difference between uh, you know low and high is is not the, the the greatest, but the difference between high high and high low because that's two highs and that's one high, right? Um, and I am never going to be able to react or, or guess on that. So if they don't push block the first high, they have a really bad situation, and you don't. You can just do that without unflying. Um, or you can unfly if you want to unfly. Because you can. Um, and I think that that means that your super tags are probably... Like, after the first thing, I think you probably want to immediately fly and then apply that. Uh, if, if people in your area are blocking this, then please disregard this. I, I wanted to give a disclaimer that I'm not the best player. And that you should only listen to things that I think make sense. Or you should only do things that make sense to you. Um, I think off that Spencer super, if you had tagged immediately, you would have broke it. Yeah, because Dante's there. If you had tagged a little bit faster and uh, done stuff, you could have broke it. Um, I want to mention very briefly that your team has uh, two brain dead birthday setups. Uh, well, two things about birthdays. First of all, you never want to birthday unless it is deliberate. If you catch the assist and you do not have something deliberate that you're going to do to the assist and it's not part of your long-term plan, dump the assist as fast as you can. You can always dump the assist by just comboing into jump roundhouse in a normal way and the assist will go bye-bye. The reason that you do that is because when you're um, hitting the assist, the assist takes half damage on top of additional combo scaling, but builds full meter and builds a crap ton of soul or box or whatever. Um, so especially in a box mirror, um, but in, in some other matchups, you often want to end the birthday very, very, very fast so they do not get box and four bars. Um, you're going to get four bars, but you're not going to get box. The flip side, though, is that your team has uh, this garbage. Uh, tag Jedi and hold back, but not down back, if you don't mind. Uh, one more time. Pretend I can hold down. And if you do this right... Yeah, I was um, trying to block it. Like I was like, okay, I got this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you probably don't want to do double double jump round house there because they get picked up. Um, so you'd want to do like that instead uh, with, with with the jump like kick. But the point is that they can't fucking see because there's just a big Dante shooting also, them. Also, like that's uh, a really nice one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was I was doing that. I probably same. Um, I, I think you want to do jump light kick because jump around house gets weird, weird bounces. Um, that's, I did this first. Oh, no, no, no. That's, that's not an overhead. That's not an overhead? It's not an overhead. Uh, do it. Oh. No, you, you do it. You do it. That's really not. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, oh, I'm thinking of this. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, the, the point is, um, you will pick up both characters if you hit the point there, and the, and the assist is just getting juggled, which means that you can do stuff. Strange doesn't have the best birthday stuff. Uh, you've got some fly routes and things that you can do in the corner. The other branded one that you can do, um, do the same thing again if you don't mind. Um, yeah. Is some variant of, of that, and you just juggle them on this when uh, you juggle the assist on this uh, when the point is in the crazy dance, but you make sure to launch the assist so they fall out of the combo and then drop back in. That's sometimes good, it's sometimes bad. Uh, but it's a thing that you can do if you want to reset the assist while keeping the point in. Um, and then Strange has theoretical cool things that you can do, but they're hard and not within the scope of this video. Uh, I, I just want to mention that if you play around with some combination of those, it may give you the ability to randomly kill in situations. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I also do not know how to make Dante do normals facing the right direction. Um, it was an interesting neutral interaction. I think that given what was going on, you had the ability to see what was going on. If that makes sense. There's probably a better way to say that. Yeah, there's a lot of these situations where it's like watching the VOD, uh, there's a yeah. big like hazard in the road and you're like, I'm gonna run directly into the hazard. And I realize that this is you know an offline tournament and you're nervous and you're playing Jake and Jake is hard and you've got to leave. A lot of, the, yeah. a lot of that was timing though. I just watched some of those boxes and I'm like, you know, it was man. The idea was good, but just the timing of the teleports. Was oh, y'all on out. the mix? Yeah, yeah, late, I, I, yeah. I was talking about neutral shit. Oh, okay, sorry. But no, it, it looked like um, leading into that box, there was just a lot of. I wanted to go back and talk about the box, I guess, because you mentioned it. I, there were a lot of situations where if you were relaxed and sort of cognizant of what was going, like here, he's charging that. You know, it's going to go. Getting under that is really, really hard. You got to be super clean. Like you can just jump, and you're just out. Here, you box, there's multi-lock coming at you, and then you teleport at, at, yeah, at a space. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shouldn't box there, should have tele... I mean, shouldn't have surged there, should have teleported. And way here, late. what Mr. Pussing is, is talking about is this game has very aggressive uh, cross-up protection. If you're in block stun, you cannot cross it a person up, period. Um, yeah. So all of your teleports were non-mixes, which gave him plenty of time. That was a missed conversion, but that's okay, it happens. I'm terrible at those two, that's why I don't play Strange. Um, that was really good. You win this, don't you? Um, you went for the fakest thing of all time there, and he didn't challenge you on it, uh, but he gets out for free. The only real mix Strange has, um, basically, off of a knockdown, that's not like do a meaty, is off of back teleport, uh, off of jump heavy kick in the corner. And I was talking to, to Mr. Pussing uh, about this uh, a couple of seconds ago. Um, hello, Mr. C4. I'm doing the thing that you talked about, and I will theoretically put it somewhere. Um, Mr. IMC4IQ said, I missed the start of the stream and an, an emote of a man with his face in his hands, Mr. Pusink. Thank you. Uh, Appreciate it. <laughs> um, I think you should always do, you should always, 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 unless there's some reason why you can't. You should carry to the corner, and you should end combos in something like that. Um, because and and don't be me like actually right, do this again i want to see what uh i, I, I mean ah. i was trying to roll forward and forgot to one more time i you, you definitely like lab this i just feel it feels so real affordable yeah but if you, oh you just did this you did the same teleport i did the same teleport yeah yeah um, hey, that's great. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're holding a different direction on, on the stick, so like back teleport might not cross up, but you do the same teleport. Um, it, yeah. it always catches. Um, don't be like me. Learn how to do uh, that into bolts. I can't do that into bolts. So I'm not smart enough. Um, but the point is that you get uh, that mix, but you get that mix after doing an unweighted 50-50 that doesn't expose your team to happy birthdays at all that they can't roll out of. Um, and if you hit with strange, you just, you loop it or you do a strange combo and that way you're counter tag safe the entire time. Um, and I and think also that's, if you, go ahead. If you see them roll forward too much and like, oh, for some reason that's not the mix up you want, you know, you just do this one instead, obviously, but it, with conditioning, they'll be like, oh, I'm definitely getting this one right. And then you're like, oh, I'm not doing that setup at all. 
Oh. Does that make sense? What I said there? Well, no, no, no. The, the setup just yeah. covers everything. Um, because you're 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 teleporting back uh, off off the knockdown. I can't do combos. Literally negative execution. But the point is, uh, it's Mr. Mr. Pussink. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Mr. C4IQ uh, wanted to know who you were and said that uh, they sound very smart like me, which uh, you're correct, Mr. Pussink is very smart, and I will not uh, make a judgment about the other part of that statement. Um, the point is that you just catch back tech, and you, yeah, can, why not? you can teleport a second time to keep corner, you can not, uh, so that you, you stay same side, and it, it also works really well solo, um, because you have so much time to confirm, and then you can do safe stuff off of the palm after taking yep. <clears throat> whatever. So it's just, it's great. It's amazing. Octopus Inc. is a uh, Jetta Strange player from somewhere in the United States, uh, if that was not an, enough of an introduction. Um, Hello. He likes yeah. American things, burgers and alcohol. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care for burgers that much, to be huh. honest. Okay. I mean, like, I'll have one. I'm not like, oh, burgers are gross. But, like, I probably more quickly have a veggie burger than a burger i see anyway that's just um, me onward yeah so i would i would push for that every time and i would do that every time because again there's just an additional layer before the thing that you normally do <clears throat> cough the other thing that you could do if you wanted to is i3 stands exist if for whatever reason you don't want to do the, the whole thing of bob and like your mid screen and you want to do a short combo i3 stands are very annoying um i just do this because it's branded. And then I was uh, just holding back that whole time. Yeah, just yeah, backwards. yeah. You know what I mean? um, just but, to give an example of what you're going through there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then so your team, you've got a bunch of things that you can do off off of ice your stands. Uh, most people will do after ice. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, it's fine. Most people do that after ice, but the problem is that you have to manually delay the crap out of Helmbreaker, otherwise it combos, which is annoying. Um, but you can do, if you do that one, you can do this, uh, and then you're just, you know, faintly plus in front of them. You can do that and be faintly pressing for plus in front of them. You can do whatever you want. And if you're faintly plus in front of them, then you can do like um, that hard to blockable if you want to, or you could just do Dante mix, or, you know, the mid screen, uh, and you're faintly plus in front of them. Oops. Oh my gosh. I have no execution today. Uh, you, you can go for a cross up and pretend that you actually can play the game. Um, anything like that. So, so that's another thing that I have not seen you do yet. You don't necessarily need to do it, but um, I would 99% of the time I would be doing one of those two things if I have both characters alive and I get a knockdown. The only time that I wouldn't be doing one of those two things is if I was mid screen and I was worried about a counter switch that I wouldn't go for ice, I would just go for a meaty and just do a, a one character thing so that if I get the hit, then I can tag into a counter switch. Uh, do you have anything to add? Uh, I'm trying to think. This is not in response to what you just said, but one thing that I'm noticing, especially against uh, Spencer, is I use the light punch teleport a lot. Or what is that? Light, light kick? Yeah, light kick. Uh, teleport a lot to just like not be in a space where he can easily punish. Yeah. Yep. Um, well, even, I was... even if you just hold back afterward, you know, yeah, you yeah. can teleport and just block. Um, I, I was also talking about this um, with Mr. Octo briefly before this. So teleport is super challengeable raw, right? If I just teleport in your face, you, you can do whatever you want um, because it's got fat recovery frames. But teleport tag is really annoying, especially if the other person is trying to react to teleport, right? So if you do this and they're trying to punish, you just get a free combo. Um, and if they don't try to punish, if they're like, ah, he's going to tag, I'm going to respect that. Then at some timing, you get to just literally hard to blockable him for trying to play the, a fighting game like a normal person and being a respectful individual. Um, if they're on point, they can throw that second setup at some timings, but you can just uh, either only teleport when you think they're going to do something, when they've committed to a dash, or uh, you can just wait until... Uh, that hits before you um, do stuff. And again, they're, you don't need to tag there if, if you're just pressing a button because you think that they're going to be mashing throw preemptively. Um, yeah. The, the point is that basically 
I, I think that if the other person is sitting there waiting for a teleport, it is a terrible option. And I think if the other person is really on the ball and they're playing very safe, then a teleport is a terrible option. But none of the people that you're playing against seem like they're playing in a way where that won't have a relatively okay success rate. Or uh, the same thing with strange, except timing it uh, in a way that makes sense, right? Um, and then again, once, once you've represented teleport tag as a thing, um, then if, if they're respectful and blocking the tag crash, uh, then that becomes very annoying and very difficult to block. Um, you can air dash out of that teleport, right? Uh, yeah. So there's another, like, if they're just getting used to it, their nerves are going to start pushing one direction. Yeah, the, 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 the more, like, Dante player-specific thing is that most of the time, if you do this, the other person will just backdash. Um, so a lot of the time when you teleport, it's actually smart to backdash out of the teleport to, to keep up with them before you do stuff. Otherwise, you'll, you'll be on the wrong side. Or you can, you know, pull a Winster and just uh, space stone nine times there and then Hellbreaker. There you go. Um, you can tell Winster I said that, too. <laughs> hey, if it works, it works. It does. Um, how is the volume, by the way, Mister Mister C four? I'm always paranoid about that. Hello. I will. I should say something after you. Ask <laughs> the volume, I guess. No. I'm like, how's the volume? I'll silently listen. <laughs> he says it's perfect. Okay. Um, cool. I'll hear it. Oh no! Did I spell your name wrong? Who? Oh, okay. I Somebody else spoke your name, but perfect. And again, this this should be a VOD somewhere. Um, I don't like going for that with Dante being so far behind. You did a very short combo, um, so uh, like the same the same thing there. And pretend that you can actually do combos and have execution. I'm just dropping all my inputs for some reason. Um, but the point is that right there, I think that you just get tag off faster. I think that um, one of the things that, that I notice a lot when I'm trying to think about the way most of the people in the UK scene play is that you're not very respectful of the other person's ability to happy birthday you. And I think that... Um, and to be fair, like like I'm not either a lot of the time, and Mr. Pusik definitely isn't a lot of the time. I think that no, a hundred percent of my wins against him are just random happy birthdays. Um, <laughs> but I, I think that um, this is just a really easy fix, right? You just do a very short strange combo, and then um, every, everybody completely off the screen, everything's kosher. Yeah, never spend meter. Your team shouldn't ever have to, unless like you're doing a lockdown super. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, yeah. every combo, more or less, unless it's a kill. I, I mean, I do this. I, I just end things in resets, keep my meter, and then here you go, another reset. And especially with his team, oh, there you go. Here's another lockdown super. Yeah. No, I, I mean that honestly just looked like you were playing super nervous, and then you weren't respecting that back, um, because you could have just bold moved or. Oh, you never do. I have never seen you do prop shutter. Prop shutter is the most annoying possible thing. Um, it is very awkward to whiff punish. You can do it. It's very awkward. Um, but like tag exists. Uh, it's very awkward to challenge. Uh, you got a full combo if it hits. Um, and if they make the mistake of blocking it, I'm pretty sure it's unpunishable. Um, block this and don't push block. Yeah. And just mash. Mash what? I don't know. Uh. <laughs> oh, you mean like a button? Yeah, yeah, No, it's strange. He has nothing to... Jetta could maybe here. Hey, let me no, see. no, like I could literally whiff punish him uh, for, for for trying yeah. to do something because it's so Good. awkward. Yeah. yeah. So wow, I, it's it's super up. safe uh. if if they don't push block. They can push block, but it, it essentially has zero recovery. Um, when you are willing to reset to neutral, I think it is probably your your best string ender. Um, if you don't want to uh, not do anything at all. Um, I also think that um, you're not really representing this basically ever. Um, you don't do this very often, and then one of the things that I will frequently see Dante players do, which I need to do more, is just sort of jump around while charging those. Uh, in oh neutral. yeah, especially with Strange. Uh, yeah, yeah, and that's incredibly annoying. Um, yeah, and then in terms of pressure tools, I think that uh, one thing that I, I will do occasionally is this. Oops. Um, you get all sorts of weird Tekken mix-ups off that, because 
you can rebuy with bold move. Or if you think they're going to challenge the bold move or try to punish you, uh, you just do the, the, the additional hit. Um, and the combination of those two options, especially uh, given that this move is actually has a lot of priority and it's really annoying, um, mean that you should incorporate that occasionally in strings. Um, especially like if you feel the need to randomly tag strange, right? And they're blocking. Um, uh, I have zero execution. Um, <laughs> but I will uh, frequently do some variant of that. Because if, if you hit the launch, um, then you hit the launch and you do a combo. And if, if you don't hit the launch, then you know they're probably blocking. And if they're up backing, they're still blocking Dante because he's in the air. Um, well, and if they're blocking the rest of that, you can set up, you can do it. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. You know. um, the other, other thing is that I think that you convert very poorly off of um, this. Uh, and if they're not a million miles in the air, you can just jab. It's a thing that is definitely worth labbing because it makes the tool much better. If they are a million miles in the air, um, then double trigger should give you a conversion if you're not recording a video. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, it does honestly feel like a, you tend to play relatively nervous and scrambly when you're playing very well. And it feels like you're playing especially nervous and scrambly in these sets, which I don't necessarily know if that's anything uh, that anybody can do anything about. But uh, yeah. Yeah. That was. So when they're in the air, um, when you're strange, can you super jump? You can just go to them um, with that. I don't know if that would have been a better conversion than just super jumping up, but that is an option. Um, otherwise, you just needed a super jump. Oh, hey, you prop shutter. No, wait, that was Jake. Never mind. I'm also seeing, like, man, so a lot of opportunities. You're rushing in with Dante immediately, and Dante has so many uh, projectiles to complement Strange and to do his own, you know, mixed setup. But, like, you're coming in, and you're running in with Dante and then tagging in Strange, and it's like Strange is not a good character to tag in on, especially, like, Raw. He's, he's got to have something, like, leading him on, like a move or a something. You know um, what I'm I mean, the opposite, though, is that Tag Crash is plus 40. Uh, no matter how shit strange it is. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no matter how... Yeah, let it rock, I guess, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when you do get the opportunity, you should at least do something. Sometimes. Um, I'm just saying, I would... For neutral play, I feel like you could get a lot more confirms off of just putting more Dante projectiles on the screen and then teleporting around with both of them. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, Dante kind of tickles you with, with this. Like, it's really hard to convert off this. I, I think you theoretically can at some ranges. Yeah, but can you jump up, do that, and teleport? Uh, tag and teleport? Oh, do you know? the... I, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> no, no, you... Okay, I, w I wouldn't... I don't know because I don't play Dante. I wouldn't have gone with that projectile, but, like, the the charge this one or the... Um... The one that you charged a bunch up, or the one that you launched this? like the range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That... Um, well, the oh the, man, the point that I would make is that Dante gets really good solo pressure or mix off of all of these, and he does not need Strange for that, uh, which is no, interesting. No, I'm saying you could set up Strange to do a. It lets Strange get a free setup for like here's an orb, and now you're gonna mix up, or just it's two characters that both teleport. Like every yeah. every single moment you can, you should be throwing a good array of project projectiles plus a good teleport with the other character. Like you have two characters that can do the same amazing zoning setup plan. Yeah, I would um, slightly temper that and, and say that the oh, teleport. Yeah, there you, go. you definitely want to threaten teleport constantly. I don't necessarily think you always want to do teleport, but I think that it's it's one of those things where um, and when you were playing Strider against C4. Uh, and we'll get to that eventually, but it felt like 100% of the time I was like, oh, C4 is doing crap. He's going to get Vajrid. And then he never got Vajrid, and then he Vajrid like once in, in two characters at first, which is fine. I mean, like maybe you guys play a bunch, and he's represented that he's really, really good at dealing with it. But if he's in the air, Vajrid tag is fucking free. And if he's doing anything, Vajrid tag is free. Uh, he has to be sitting on the ground like a numpty, waiting for you to Vajrid tag for Vajrid tag to not be free. Um, and it's sort of the same thing with other teleports. It's just a little bit less extreme. Oh, if you had been a little bit faster with that tag, that would have killed Spencer. Yeah, it was nice. Setup was cool. Yeah. Ah! 
Oh man. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just nervous. Oh, that's nervous right there. Yeah. Good confirm. Good birthday. That, that was a little well, that, bit. Of, uh, was so that supposed to be a, a super tag? I did always, um, and, and I do this pretty deliberately, but I always do Dante specials. Uh, this one, and then that one. Um, but you always do this one first because it gives you plenty of time to stabilize the combo and do everything. And it also works less high in hit stun than this one. Um, the thing that you do about Vaja, Mr. C4, is you just backdash and then you throw. Uh, or you backdash and throw the tag. Vajra will whiff if you're moving backwards. If you're in the corner, you're fucked. Um, but, yeah. If you're strange, do this and go above it. <laughs> uh, yeah. They couldn't see that. It's okay, though. Oh, that's okay. Um, you could have... Oh, you didn't have bar. Never mind. Yeah. I was going to say you could have projectile countered, but I'm an idiot. You did not have bar. Um, Jake is doing a lot of stuff that can be challenged specifically, and it feels like you're sort of... I, I mean, the same point I made earlier that you are, are, may or may not catch in the VOD. I think that you very frequently challenge uh, in autopilot ways that are not specific to what the other person can can do or is doing, if that makes sense. Um, and I think that that gets you hit a lot in a lot of situations where you shouldn't be getting hit. There again, um, I think what you wanted to do and tell me if, if I'm wrong, but I think you tried to do that, and I think you just got your input crossed up. Uh, if you're confirming, if, if you're hitting with this, just land and press a button. Like, there's no reason to cancel it into anything. Um, and then I, I made the point, uh, basically the same point, that you do that every time, and I think you should do that less frequently, um, because, like, it's a special, uh, which, so yeah, You can do block, this, I believe in yeah, you. <laughs> special on block. There's a really awkward oh, yeah. one, though. Um, but the, the point is that um, you can cancel it when it's on the ground. Uh, and just, I swear to God. The buffer window is super awkward. Um, but you can cancel some of the ground recovery frames into the ground specials to, to keep pressure up, which makes it really annoying. Um, so you can sometimes land. Um, and I think that you autopilot into hammer off of that too much. That was a... Oh, that tag. Yeah. I don't know if you tagged before his tag came out and you were just you were just panicky. But I think if you had just mashed stuff with Dante, because um, <laughs> if you had mashed Crazy Dance with Dante, that was just a combo. <laughs> like, actually, <laughs> Crazy Dance is insanely fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I, th I think you're panic tagging and, and you don't let it rock and your tag comes out before his. In which case, don't do that. Um, and I'll, I'll talk about that more in a second. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. So you tagged late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, this part of the move is insanely fast. And, you know, you still get combos off of it. Um, but if you had had the presence of mind to be like, oh, I'm doing this part, uh, stuff's going on, and then you just mashed light punch during the tag, I'm pretty sure that would have caught him. The other thing, though, is that you never tag second. Uh, ever. It will never, ever, 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 ever work unless they're coming in with an empty tag. Um, their tag just has a hitbox before yours does. So, um, you want to tag and I'll tag into it? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no matter what. Well, it, it, that traded because of distance. Uh, do it from here. Yeah, so he'll always get a happy birthday if you tag there. Um, yeah, and you're doing something. I think that... Uh, Obviously, in retrospect, getting one character hit is better than getting two characters hit. Um, and the crazy dance thing is super situational. But I think that that's just a... Um, one of the things that I'm very bad at doing this game is going, oh shit, I screwed up, and then not tagging, instead of going, oh shit, I screwed up, and then tagging and getting two characters killed. Oh, me too. <laughs> it's just tough to accept that your character's going to die in this game. And, uh, it's better. Um, I don't like you doing DT there, because I think that DT's... One of the biggest things about DT is that if the other guy's blocking, um, you can do... I mean, I mostly do this string. Um, and this is not super plus, but it's very, very difficult to challenge, uh, and it's definitely safe. So it, the cancel into DT gives you a, a, a safe try. And you can do that off of, off of like, you know, um, specials too and other stuff. So I think that um, in a lot of situations, um, the ability to 
like uh, do a special and then give it infinitely more block stun because you you basically zero out the, the recovery is one of the more valuable parts of the super and when you just sort of randomly super in neutral it deprives you of that opportunity and i think that specifically right there you were in such a prime position to just be like ah, and just check him with with a drive uh and then cancel the, the right frames um that it was a non-zero missed opportunity yeah uh poor man's ribbon cancel that gives you uh 10 percent of your health back <laughs> and makes all your moves better and gives you fly um uh, Mr. Pussink, because you cannot see chat, Jonesy said that uh, he screwed up Crazy Nance tagged out of panic, which is fine. Um, oh, okay. Riv said that DT is a poor man's Roman cancel. Gotcha. I mean, it really is. I, it's so good. Yeah. It gives him it. so much. It also, it's a Roman cancel that gives you health regen. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the other, 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 other thing is that when you're in DT, like... Flying Dante is way more annoying than I think people think about, right? Oh, yeah. Good Dante's use that a lot. Just... Because, like, Helmbreaker, fly. Helmbreaker, unfly. Helmbreaker, like... Um, and I'm not saying that you specifically... <laughs> uh, Reef said it's an advanced room and cancel. He's rephrasing. Uh, I'm not okay. saying that you specifically need to be doing that. That was a good teleport. I don't know who's who, though. That was That teleport tag was really good. Good for him for blocking, but uh, yeah. And then it was a panic book. I think that, uh, again, in neutral, you're frequently pressing the issue instead of letting him do Spencer things and, and respecting what, what he's putting out, if that makes sense. And I think that just, if you had blocked there, you'd have done fine. Um, obviously, in respect. There again, I would be trying to block low and then throw, uh, or block it, but block low and then throw is probably the, the safe option. Um, Oh, yeah, 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 you do this a lot. Um, if the other person is doing garbage, don't push block. Um, so the, the quintessential example is, uh, you weren't here for this, but again, it's, it's here in the VOD. So if you push block and Strange is like, um, I don't know, this, then it's kind of hard to challenge because you're out of range. And if you press a button, you'll, you'll get hit by the, the, by the eye. But if you don't push block, and you just launch, uh, yeah, just launch. Oh. Then you just launch because he's he's, he's in he's in your face. Um, you blocked a lot of Jake's overheads, and then you push block the overhead, and then he was like, "Oh, I'm I'm half screen." Um, he has to cancel into a more well. I mean, everything's the same unsafe attitude in this game, but um, if you block an overhead and he does not pierce her, then you just launch. And if you block an overhead and he does pierce her, then you just block the piercer and launch. Uh, but if you push block either, you've given him a free mix and let him reset to neutral. And part of that is a match knowledge thing. Part of that is, is just also a... Uh, um, it happens a decent amount, which means that I think that if if you were a little bit more on the ball, uh, maybe? Overhead piercer is definitely not safe. Um, I mean, I could be wrong on that. Uh, the, the point is that even, even if it is safe, I don't necessarily think... Uh, I don't necessarily think push blocking is a good idea though. Um, because if he's point blank, then yeah. And, and again, feel free to lab me and call me an idiot. Like, I am very willing to be wrong at this. Hey, let me see the push block. Uh, I, I don't think overhead happens necessarily that's quickly. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, did you need me again? Yeah, that's okay. I'm, yeah. I'm watching what you're showing now. Uh, the other thing, though, um, regardless of whether it's safe or not, is that uh, Jake probably over, uh, autopilots overhead to a special. So um, I can and claim victory. Nanny, nanny, nanny boo boo. I'm rubber deer glue. He's also autopiloting jump back into like zip. Like anytime you go to set up, see, he just did it again there. Yeah. Uh, if you had a book that's a really good, well, a book and a partner, it's a really good time <laughs> to punish. <laughs> really yeah. good time to punish there. I think the biggest thing I'm seeing with Strange and Neutral here is. Not thinking about like the angles. Does that make sense? What I'm saying, yeah, just like, yeah. like uh, Spencer covers very set angles, and he does them extremely well, and so annoying. But like, you know, the only places he can go from there, and Strange, especially with that up teleport, can avoid it a lot. But also just by like short hopping, and you know, just kind of yeah. mixing up the way that your person would be in their angle. 
Well, that's the... Um, I'm not going to uh, tap into the game for this, but um, one of the things that separates people who are like good Marvel players versus good players in general is that instead of like doing strike throw mix-ups, they'll just vary their strings so that um, th if the other person is autopilot push blocking, they just catch the push block and they, they kill them. And that's the thing that I, I really need to work on is intentionally doing strings. I know that um, with Dante, one that Wenster does a lot is he'll do um, that. And the idea is that if you don't push block the, the, the jab and then you try to up back, that'll actually catch you up back. And then yeah. just sort of whiffing this is surprisingly good. Um, <laughs> but the other part about whiffing this is that uh, if you get pushed out because you push block something previously and they match push block too hard, then you'll just accidentally yeah. launch their push block a lot of the time, which is really good. Um, yeah. Um, so that's the, again, Winster does, I believe, some variant of that string a lot. Um, yeah. One of the things that I need to do more is just slight delay there. Hello, Mr. Wolf. I'm attempting to, to review a VOD, and Mr. Pussink is here with me. Um, Hello. Yeah, d just being more cognizant of, of, because a second ago in box, like you did a string and then you stopped and then he just whiffed the push block and nothing happened, um, which is fine. And you probably expected him to not just do crouch fierce nothing, right? Uh, but at the same time, like if you had just been slightly delaying instead of stopping it entirely, then you there's a pretty good chance that you would have just frame trapped the crowd fierce and he would have died. Well, died in air quotes. Um, a really good one with that with Strange is like a blocked light kick. Uh, so keep down back uh, yeah, a light yeah, yeah. kick. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. Sorry. I am not in the game. Uh, down back a light kick. I'll oh, do that yeah. or... Yeah. Uh, so I'm if you're getting... And then you're, I mean, as strange, you want to be out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and again, I, I think that um, strange definitely has the ability to steal turns with his, his specials. And I think that being cognizant of the other person's push block tendencies makes it yep. more likely that you will win games because you're thinking about that stuff. Like, I mean, Octo knows that I'm trash push blocks, so he just does that all day and yep. uh, pretends it's his turn. <laughs> uh, which, I mean, <laughs> given that I am letting him, uh, it, it is. Uh, yeah. I think what else I'm seeing in these videos that could be going wrong. Uh, fly on fly is the realest thing. Fly on fly is hard. Um, so can you block and then uh, try to mash me after I fly on fly? Um, yeah. Uh, that got really laggy, but... Yeah, I'm trying to... I so, can't. Uh, I do it again, I'm going to try Palm, which I think is even my fastest. Uh, oh, no, that was yep, bad. Yep, 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 yep. We're, we're both All gods. We're both gods. Yeah, here we go. Uh, that was... I, oh. I, I can't unfly in time. I'm just bad. Okay, is it, I think it would it would be safe if you could. One more time. Um... The point is that, um, yeah, no, I, I mean, strange, like, basically, theory strange is godlike, but nobody can do this. Um, I feel like Escalante, maybe, or like, uh, uh, not even. He has really good, like, execution. Uh, with this game, so. um, um, the, the, the point, though, is um, unfly is one frame, so you can just, and because you can whiff cancel normals or block cancel normals or whatever at any point, um, Normals have no recovery if you unfly, like literally none. So you just recover. Um, so if if a block and a book actually, um, a block and a book. Yeah. So that was the worst timing of all time for this, but one more time. Wee. And I was a little bit uh, late with the palm and a little bit early with unfly, but it, it, it's the same thing. Um, so that is, if you're willing to do it, it is the the freest shit. Um, if you're not willing to do it, um, this is essentially the same thing, except you don't get the extra hit, right? Um, so you can't catch them with the that check. Um, but if if this hits, uh, then you still have enough time to dash up and, and convert. Oh, oh yeah. And you're still 100% super safe. So so that that is the safe option. Um, yeah, do it. Super good. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. That's that's the easy option. Um, and then I think uh, some people will pretend that they can do 
this, but you can just launch that. Uh, unlock, I, I think. Uh, launch me? Uh, prove me right? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. How <laughs> so much startup? And again, if, if you're willing to put in the time. Um, but also, here, push block me in the. I mean, I'm going to push block you and then do it. Yeah, sure. Oh, I meant the. Uh, sorry, the. Uh, oh. Yeah. The. the... Sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll catch people, but it's still very punishable. I'm a god. Yeah. That was the That's best push block of, of, of all time. Um, and you can actually do that with Dante, too, but uh, nobody's going to. Um, block. <laughs> uh, Uh, his normal suck. Um, and on flies actually learn how to talk it. But but uh, every fly character except Jetta and Captain Marvel and Thor can do the same sort of vague on fly stuff. It's way better with Strange because this normal has way too much block stun. So he is like actually the best version of it. Um, with the flip side that you can't really convert stuff. Um, like Ultron, you know, if you're flying here and you hit this with Ultron, then you can dash around like a jackass. Uh, and Strange can't. So yeah, uh, is yeah. that? A thorough answer of your question. My question? Uh, no, Mr. Mr. C4's oh. question. C4 said uh, he was telling Jen to fly and fly with Strange when Palm gets blocked. And so we were examining that. Also, uh, Mr. Wolf said hi to Mr. C4. Um, and Jonesy says that he does not fly and fly. Um, and Mr. C4 yeah, I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably do better if I did, but yeah, I feel um, like This right here, you should have known that this... The good news is that I watched this vote in advance, so, so I have some things. This is the most like obvious, this is unsafe um, that I've ever seen in my life. If you're mashing tag here, you get a happy birthday. Uh, okay, you don't get a happy birthday. No, you do, you do. Dante's still on the fucking screen. Um, yeah, th there's no chance that is not un literally unsafe. Um, and if I'm wrong on that, I'm, I'm wrong on that, but I'm not, so. Uh, any cinematic anything when they don't have tag available at the end of a long combo, just mash, mash fucking tag. Uh, tag is four frames. Tag is bullshit. Um, hello, Mr. Jake. I might have been saying very pleasant things about your combo. Um, Jake, a.k.a. Jads UK. Um, said that he found the combo on the way to Birmingham. And he put a picture of a pasty white man with a beard in the chat. Good fake. That was a really good teleport. Yeah. And here again, I'm pretty sure you cash out. Oh no, you don't. Thank God. You tried to cash out though. <laughs> I would have also. I would have just immediately done an I and then done a. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, no. The, the the surge was him trying to cash out. Oh, okay, okay. And then, no, and then he was sense. probably just tilted. Cause yeah, that's not going to work. Sense. I would have done it too, but that wasn't going to work. Yeah. I 100% would have made the same exact decision, but, you know, it's one of those things. Yep. Um, I think that uh, one of the things that, that I was mentioning to Mr. Pusink, I'm assuming that you just don't die here. Oh, shit. Um, I don't think you need to... I, I'm not full of crap, right? If, if I hit with this... Yeah, you, you can keep corner. Um, you don't need to always cross the teleport. Uh, you, you can keep corner if, they, if they're near the corner. Um, this so. is almost always my pickup after something that, you know. Oh, no, 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 no. My, my, my point was that um, Jake was really close to the corner. Um, oh, so, oh, yeah. And then you can autopilot into... Yeah. And then pretend that you, you can do combos, which I can't. Um, Distance-wise, this... Sorry. Misses a lot. This pickup, I would just say maybe for you, I don't know what he uses. This is not the best. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and you just That's why that. I do the dash forward yeah, to yeah. get the like close that distance. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean I, I was doing dash that because I'm bad. Um yeah. yeah. Jonesy <laughs> yeah. um uh said that he he sends you to do palm and uh he said that yeah. Jake showed him the setup that he found on the way to Irmingham um previously oh. and then still got hit. What's the what's the setup? Oh, the the, the the I mean, Jake essentially did really, 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 really long combo, cinematic, whatever. Um, force flip out throw, um, except the, the force flip out is just because they were at super, super, super high hit stun, and yeah, I'm pretty sure that a you can uptack that, uh, and b I I would 
bet a very, very small amount of money because I'm wrong about stuff all the time, but I would still bet money that, that was unsafe and you could have just tagged and gotten a happy birthday. It's, it's really tough to time, but you can... This is something I'm remembering myself. Shit. You can uh, pick up off of forward teleport throw. It just takes a really weird timing. Anyway, continue on okay. whatever else you're going to review. Um, yeah, no, I, I mean, obviously, if, if it's a real setup and I'm full of crap, it's a real setup and I'm full of crap, I just... Uh... Yeah. What else? Let's see. Oh, no, no, no. We have another set. Oh, okay. I came prepared. I have about a gigabyte of Jonesy. Ooh, C4 would also like to be judged. Sure. Who do they play? <clears throat> uh, C4 is the Hawkeye Venom player on your screen right now. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah, I just saw it as it loaded. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I watched this first, and that was why... <laughs> yeah, that was great. That was why I was so uh, critical. You screw up really big macro here, um, and this is worth talking about. C4 has lost the set. Um, so you should have kept corner, and you should have done strange mix into Dante Mix's layers, I think, here. But then yeah. once he gets here, he has oh. lost the set. The set is done. Well, not the set, the game. If you stop the combo here, do one mix and then Dante super. If he gets hit, he dies. And if he blocks, he probably still dies um, because you get to do high lows of strange while he's blocking the Dante super. You can't super tag for about two hits of a combo. Um, so I just want to, uh, for the sake of, of demonstration, um, hold back and then try to uh, counter switch. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm holding. I could. So you can do something like this, and this is the fakest combo of all time, but that did 60% and he can't do that. Uh, it's a little bit harder to get it super real off of uh, this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Which, um, but you can still do essentially the same idea, right? Um, where you do the shortest possible set into the super, into mashing buttons, into the, in the super with strange, into the strange super. And if you get the mix right here, he just dies. That's that's it. Yeah. Dead character. No Bane and XC will, will abuse that every time of like basically resetting before the two bar yeah, limit. Yeah. And um, it just erases teams. And right here, you're, you're perfect. All you have to do is stop the combo here and you just want to game. So, yeah. Um, that's... I think that, that was a nice I, there is no universe in which I would not have super tagged Hawkeye there. <laughs> uh, but that's me. You had uh, the opportunity to go into like a bolts reset to hey, go back a bit. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. So let me see that. No, combo. well, um, once once you do the last hit of ice, if you just do the last hit of ice, super tag real fast. Uh, if he boxes and you've tagged right, then Strange is on top of him. And if he doesn't box, you just get you know, shitty high-low. Uh, and you you still have a bar advantage. All right, now keep going. This yeah. is, he picks this up. It was it was like... Right yeah, after it's, it, it's after the counter switch, after the counter switch. Yeah. Um, well, the other one is that oh, like, okay, right, yeah. right here, yeah, I, th yeah. I, I think that six times out of 10, you should bullet cancel this and then just go for an overhead um, to keep pressure up. Um, and that allows you to, to do more solo stuff. Or, um, I mean, this is just such a good situation. Like if you super here or here, I mean, same thing, if you just super there, if you super before the ice, it keeps the, the assist in. Um, but if you super here, and, and again, you have to tag with the super so he can't box you, then like, you've got one bar to his two. Um, yeah, but yeah, yeah. The, the, the other part is is that you should have walked him from the counter switch with super before that. Hey, hey, okay, so it does this. Ah, oh. Sorry, I'm terrible. I clicked. And this is unfortunately a modern video, so keyframes or whatever. Oh man, no, I, I'm just, I'm just terrible. You can blame me. Let's see, it'll come back. Yeah, it's a short sequence. So this happens, this happens. Yeah, should have forward teleported there instead of. 
But whatever, this is a nice mix. So we yeah. get this. Layer key corner. Yep. And again, again, there you you reset quickly high low. Here you did strange. This this is the, the thing that you do every time is you tag strange and do nothing. I think that tag strange do something is much better than tag strange do nothing. Or yeah. um tag strange and if you are gonna empty tag, then throw him, right? Because if yep. he, if he texts the throw, you get pulled and then you know, you just got pulled. Congratulations. Best normal game. So he gets this hit, right? Yep. And then right here, I would not have done that. You I, had a lot more combo left. There's no way that wasn't a miss input. Uh, oh. I, I would need to like, on that one. Uh, go, go back to it, though. Like, yeah. can you just bear You can't. Uh. Uh, yeah, again, modern video. It's yeah. it's compressed or whatever. Da, 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 da. I'm sure there's a way for me to, like, fully render this out, but. That's okay. Uh, CPU time. Let's see what this input is. But that's what I'm saying. He shouldn't even launched. Like, he went to launch again, and he mm. should have done. You, you know how I do the. Hang on. Or, hang on. Uh... <laughs> ah, shit. Now I can't. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think he. I, I have, like, PlayStation timing right now. I don't know. He, he probably screwed something up actually. Yes. The launch and then... Yeah. That. That you could have kept the combo going without like having to use another launch. You could have switched into Dante. You could have gone for a setup, but like tag crash at a bolt lets you do so much. You could you got yeah, yeah another yeah. half a combo there. Hit continue. Sorry. It's it's even something I just I don't even see a lot of other strangers do it. I mean maybe um, yeah. Lin does it a lot. Lin's really good about. Lin is mildly underrated, which is weird because everybody thinks he's really good. Yeah. No, he's fantastic. He's who I got that idea from of using the tag crash to like hold the hit stun and you know yeah. confirm a second bolts, confirm a first bolts, whatever you need. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't want to get too in the weedy about combos. So C four, it feels like the thing that C four is much better than everybody else uh, in the UK scene at is he walks up to you. And then he either does delay normal to catch push block or he does a throw because he thinks you're not doing anything. And it is working incredibly well. Um, but it means that either you can do one of two things. One, you can push block with uh, light kick and heavy punch. Um, which, if you push block with light kick and heavy punch, you just get a back throw. Um, so if he screws up the timing at all, uh, you just throw him. Or you could just up back um, because he's delaying it. So up back should beat everything. Uh, the other other thing you can do is that this is throw invincible, so if you early push block, that probably beats all of those options. I mean, obviously, if if you if you back dash and you don't um, duck cancel on time and he does a low, you die. But uh, the point is that it, it. I would want to be exploring those options uh, if I played in the meta that you guys play in. I'm not saying that they're silver bullets, but rather that I think they make some combination of people have to work harder. Um, right here, I remember watching this and thinking, why aren't these individuals boxing? Because I think oh, C4, yeah, yeah oh I think God. C4 should have boxed. <laughs> because yeah. if Jonesy's allowed to tag, and it's possible that, you know, Gimlet just covers the tag well enough that he was confident that he would just kill kill anyway. But uh, if I'm Jonesy, I also box, right? So, if, yeah. If I have Doctor Strange and a half box and someone has, let's say, even 40% life, I mean, you, depending on how you do your resource management, you can get three boxes, and you can usually do a quick kill with like one box mix and a strange cash yeah. out. So I go for it a lot. I'll just be like, "Oh, you're low on life. Let's box you and get this kill." I wanted to pay attention to neutral a little bit because a lot of the things that I was talking about in the Jake set, uh, you're mysteriously doing because you paid attention to my advice and then traveled back in time. <laughs> but dude, XC would be screaming a bit at you about um, Dante being on the screen right now. Uh, you can't, so one thing, and this is just a, a, a sort of a, um, C4 does this sometimes. Um, I'm going to be Hawkeye Dante, I think, to be as confusing as possible. You can do whatever you want. Um, but 2-2 uh, LP is the most annoying thing of all time because the arrows don't go away on hit, right? So if you're trying to mix Hawkeye in the box and he's just, eh, uh, sorry, I'm rendering shaders or whatever. Um, and he's just doing this, and he like teleport on me. Um, 
uh, then some relatively large percent of the, uh, of the time, um, especially if you teleport in front or, or above. Um, yeah, yeah, that's not good though. Yeah, yeah, just two catches. Um, per you can in combo if I do this. You can, thing. except yeah. if you use the level three that you get from box, he just tags. Um, sorry, Mr. Wolf said you, you, you can level three interaction. Um, yeah, no, no, you, you can whiff punish it, you can do stuff. It's just, um, uh, that is the thing that I would be playing around, and it's interesting that it didn't come up. Um, that was really good. I think you hot up back, and, and he also teleported. Um, it's good that you let Strange get boxed here. Yeah. I would be trying to counter super and arrow so that I didn't have to, well, no, it's super unsafe. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. I thought he was doing it with setting up glyphs and trying to just get what he can into the gaps. That was smart. Here, Although, personally, I would have done one glyph and then set up a different one, but it doesn't yeah. matter. Um, you just dropped a, a, a combo here. I think that um, in in a situation, um, uh, Mr. Wolf wants me to talk about why the counter tag was terrible. Hang on. Um, yeah, off a throw. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you got you got to confirm after. Is that what you were talking about, Erebus? I, I mean, I don't think that counter is great, but I don't think it's that bad. Uh, hang on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in terms of like long-term resource management, yeah, it's it's not great because you're spending two bars. The the characters. Um, basically, Mr. Wolf's point is that um, despite the fact that you're getting hit there here. Um, Like, like how much, yeah. yeah. Plenty of health. Tags in the low health care. Yeah, I, I get what he's saying. That's yeah, yeah. Throws, th throws definitely done, uh, damage. Um, what I wanted to say, though, was that uh, you get so much bar back for doing a happy birthday that I would, like, basically always take the easy conversion off of Devil Trigger there um, if you're hitting two characters because you'll, you'll just get the bar back. Um, and that makes it way harder to drop. I very much dislike this matchup as Dante, but I don't think the Hawkeye player likes it either. Um, it felt like the same thing that Mr. Plissink was saying about Spencer is very much a thing about the way you play against um, Mr. Four's Venom, and that you're not very cognizant of angles. Like right there, like, I mean, yeah, he's Venom. That's that's the angle that he covers. Yeah, it's, a tough, it's a tough matchup. Like, yeah, I'm not yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Both but of those right. characters are not free, but, but it feels like you're not necessarily very cognizant of um, the zip. When, yeah, yeah. They're, I, again, the, the same idea. You're, you're in a situation where you should probably be challenging some large percent of the time with the button on the way down, and you neglected a potential to reverse the situation because you listened to people complaining about Riv matching. Not Riv, uh, Tony. Full Metal Fury matching too much, and so you Oh, yeah. Oh, excuse my yawn, but oh, that was unfortunate on the Venom trap there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, angles. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, when I play against Venoms, I do a lot of nothing, like deliberate nothing, because um, if I can bait a bad zip out, I get a, a lot, a really big reward. And if he zips in and I'm not doing anything, he doesn't get a big reward, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, and same thing with uh, it, punishing uh, if they set up a trap. Like if you leave them alone, they start setting up traps. Oh, yeah. that's wonderful, both as strange and I imagine as Dante. Um, Mr. Mr. Jonesy was trying an advanced short hop maneuver in order to, and he was cognizant of the trap. He just fucked up. Oh, okay. Word. And no, I, was... I figured it was a mess up. Yeah. It looked good. Yeah, there we go. Uh, there, I think it's very important to try to keep corner, which you can do just by teleporting in a better direction. I'm very surprised that, that didn't hit Venom. I don't know what he whiffed there on the heavy kick. I'm sure it was something else, but... It was an interesting challenge. Yeah. I, I, well, again, specific options like um, Venom does not have a fast overhead, right? Um, so it's very possible that you just no. He you you got clipped low, so you couldn't have been trying up back, right? So this is either a bad push block or you just weren't blocking low, which I mean, I also sometimes fail to block low. Um, I would have considered just teleporting out there too and just resetting, the, you know. And so he like teleport. I mean, he tried to attack and punish. So I would have just gone for positioning, um, possibly. Yeah. Might have been a good idea. Yeah. So right now, 
you have a few opportunities where you're trying to run in and punish where you could just be teleporting out and keeping the corner and being safe. Like you could get your other character in. With Dante? Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I, he could literally do the setup you were talking about of teleport to Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I think you, you t Dante's teleport may be slower than you think, and you may need more space. Maybe, yeah, and I, I, to be honest, I don't play Dante, uh, so that's a very possible thing. It just seems like some options. They're also, I, I mean, going on, on the theme of deliberate challenges, um, there was a point where you dashed up to C4 because you thought there was space, and then you just sort of stared at him, and uh, just doing that instead would have gotten you hit, which, I mean, it's super easy to nitpick after the fact, but it's the, one of the things that I try to work on when I'm getting better at a fighting game is to make sure that I'm doing things, and, and I, I said this exact same thing before, but you, you do things such that the option table that you're representing and the option table that they're representing makes sense with each other, right? So when you're playing against a Marissa and they're doing medium punch, medium punch, either Gladius or full charge Gladius, you don't mash mids. You either do a low or you DI or you block or you parry or, you know, you reversal. But the point is that at no point do you ever mash jab because mashing jab is stupid and loses to both options. Um, yeah. Ramos may or may not be referencing my own Street Fighter Six play. <laughs> <laughs> That was unfortunate, and that tag was terrible. Well, the tag was not terrible. The, the tag was, was acceptable. I think that that tag was an unnecessary risk, and you were just fine. It's the... Um, I was talking to Mr. Wolf about this when, when Mr. Wolf was, was getting VOD reviewed by Mr. Hollow, um, where it seems like there were a lot of times where Mr. Wolf would do something that was mildly unsafe and then tag, and if he had committed to the thing that he was doing, he could have been able to either keep pressure up or make it safe or just chill and reset to neutral without necessarily using tag um, and preserve tag for later and not and at risk for happy birthday um, yeah yeah you were just sort of whiffing something with venom and then you just sort of tagged uh, and if you wanted to be Hawkeye if the tag was literally just to get Hawkeye on screen that's that's fine too but um, like you can just zip off of a whiff normal you know or you can do anything you want off of a whiff normal including uh, no, it was it was very non-interesting. I'm making a mountain out of a molehill. Hang on. There, right here. Um, because in in, in that same situation, right? Um, if you're doing the exact same thing, um, I, I mean, but you could have put garbage out on the screen uh, while whiffing before you tagged if, uh, and made, made it a little bit a little more deliberate like you could have shot the sticky command grabby web um the hit grabby web uh, or you could have zipped and i think zip actually would have worked if you had just canceled in a zip at, at the right time or you could have done nothing uh yeah um like he he doesn't nothing happens because of it but i think it's it's from the the perspective of where i'm reviewing a vod from the cover of my share it feels unnecessary Again, though, like if you just want to talk on the screen, like I, I cannot argue with that. Unarguable. Jonesy goes to Strider at some point, and there's going to be very little that we can say. Yeah, well, so strange solo, unless there's garbage on you. Um, uh, teleport on me? Scary. Ooh. Teleport and press a button? Ooh, scary. Right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to teleport and press a button and do like a light punch instead. I mean, yeah. you. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying you can oh. instead of a grab. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. A full combo, yeah. Yeah. Like that teleport is so unsafe. My sick down take on this. Um, the only the only teleport you're moderately worried about is is air teleport, right? But if he air teleports, this one. Uh, yep. uh, yeah, do, do it again. Yeah. Yep. Um, if if you're not doing anything, um, this is pretty good though to just do this and block. Yeah. Uh, do that and block. Because by the time they get up there, you know what I mean? Like, sorry. Yeah. Huh. I'm going to do it again. Okay. Oh. Okay. See, punishable, but better. Yeah. And to be fair, th this this is, 
me actually reacting on an actual connection, and it seems uh, uh, I mean that's an interesting question. Um, I think what XC does with Hawkeye, and this is a hundred percent of how he plays Hawkeye. Uh, oops, is he does this one, and he sits there and he pushes blocks you into it, and that is literally all of his Hawkeye. Um, yeah, uh, I think against. Doctor Strange, I would imagine that if I was playing this matchup, I would just try not to let him do anything, right? Um, yep. So, Wait if, for... but but you don't need to commit until he's done something, right? Um, and I don't necessarily know how. Uh, I don't necessarily know how much in in a real match I would I would uh, um, do stuff rather than doing. Um, I, I don't know how much in a real match I would chill rather than doing preemptive stuff. Uh, I'm I'm a very preemptive stuffer. Uh, can, you, can you try something for me real quick? Sure, sure, sure. sure. Can you do, um, try and punish, no, get full screen, full screen away, and try Dude, and I'm punish. I'm trying to wave dash. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do a jump fireball and try to punish when I start the fireballs. Like, I'm going to do that and just try to like punish it. So yeah, there is nothing you can do with Strange. <laughs> That's his like, quickest projectile in the yeah. air that, that won't get immediately punished into full combo with Hawkeye. That was actually an interesting point. I was... Um, when I was watching the set and then thinking about it afterwards, I was struck by how much both of you are playing unfuckwithable neutral supers and none of you did them. Uh, C4 busted out with Venom Super once, but like, uh, you can convert off of book. So if he's ever doing anything and you just kind of happen to book and, and, and it hits and you just get a conversion and that's for him doing literally anything. Full screen. And then you go in your set play um, and you win yeah. the match. And then same thing with, with, with Gimlet. Um, and to some extent, same thing with Venom Web Super. Venom Web Super is... Uh, I don't want to put this. Venom Web Super is simultaneously garbage and one of the most broken supers in the game. Um, Why like do you think it's garbage? Because it's very easy to hit Venom out of it if you're either in the right place or if you simply react to the Super Flash by pressing an appropriate button. Okay, um, no, I, I get what you're saying there. It also, it travels a fixed distance in a way that if you don't play Venom, you're like, oh, it randomly crosses up sometimes. But if you do play Venom, you're like, wow, an intelligent person can make this Super really bad by spacing around it. Like, if I think um, a Venom player is going to wake up with a Super, uh, rather than doing a media, I'm just going to kind of do that. And literally doing exactly this, the Super will just run into Dante pressing the button, right? Um, There's another random Venom fact, but I'm pretty sure you can uh, physical counter his super, uh, which was strange on reaction. I'm that, pretty sounds, sure it, that sounds right. Um, I yeah. lapped it, and I was like, I'm pretty sure you can do that. I, I, I agree that, that you, you should, some percent of the time, you should only give it when your opponent can tag. Uh, but you're doing Giblet tag anyway. Um, so how do I want to put this? Uh, if you do Gimlet tag, he's doing something unsafe, and then he tags, then your tag wins. You hit the other character, and you get something because just Gimlet on the screen, and they're in tech crash. Uh, I am certainly not saying that you should do it literally 100% of the time, but it's one of those things where, especially if you see him tagging and then doing stuff, you know, um, making him respected is probably not a bad idea. Um, and th th this is the same idea with, with, with Vajra. Um, I think Jonesy's Strider is very much developing and in the lab, if that makes sense. No, 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 no. We're, we're going we're gonna to watch this uh, just so I can prove the point about you Vajraing exactly once. Um, because Vajra Tag is just... Uh, I mean, same point. It's, it's not necessarily unanswerable and it's definitely not unbeatable, but if he's not respecting it, it is incredibly annoying. So, uh, yeah. Was that Vajra? I don't think that was. I think that was the other teleport. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a crap. Maybe he had enough air momentum that that missed. That is the answer. And then here you just screwed up the conversion. I, I'm, I'm assuming that you down, down, heavy punched, and like you missed the heavy punch or something. Yeah, okay. So that was Vajra. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the only one in this game, though. That is how you deal with it. You just have momentum because he, he doesn't track relatively. He doesn't track it. Um, I see like you're chicken blocking a lot too that might get you blown up sometimes 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, the, the only point that I would make here is just deliberate challenges, right? Um, yeah. If you had counter supered with Strange there in response to the Hawkeye Arrow super, I think you would have been fine. I don't think Venom was on top of you fast enough, but it's like, again, we shouldn't we shouldn't make big conclusions from from the, these these games. Yeah. Um. um I, I, again, that must have been a missed input on the yeah, physical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean the the um. It looked cool though. You were. It looked like you were taunting him. I loved it. To hear Jonesy's Twitter, uh, um. J Jonesy's Twitter uh, version of of the event is Jonesy beat everybody that he normally has trouble beating, and then got to like losers finals, and then sort of was like okay, and didn't play very well from that point. Uh, and that happens, yeah. dude. Tournaments are an exercise in stamina, and yeah. I think that one of the things that I am personally neglecting as a fighting game player is my fighting game cardio, you know? Ooh. And yeah, Jake's talking about Tekken trailers. Um, yeah, so so to recap, uh, deliberate challenges. Um, so on defense, think about the other person's options and make sure that you're either push blocking or not push blocking or pressing a button that makes sense in, in light of what their character can do and what they can do. Think about angles. Um, if you're going to come down with buttons, come down with good buttons. If you can come down with buttons, think about coming down with buttons. Um, if the other person can challenge you, if you're at a, a really good angle for them to challenge, just chill. They can't do much. Uh, if the other person is trying to cover a really good angle, so like, you know, if he's doing that, um, in the theme of deliberate challenges, do, do, do things that cover that, right? So, yeah. Um, uh, Mr. Jonesy is... I think mostly agreeing with my assessment. Uh, I would always, always, always push to corner and keep corner. Strange can teleport on both sides. Uh, it may take some adjustment, but you can. If if you mess with it for a couple of days, you, you'll you'll probably get it down. So you stop teleporting to the wrong side. Um, I would always go for, and I'm going to be strange again. That specific setup when I can, if if I'm in the corner, and I would always try to push corner. Your team has a shit ton of corner push. You should be able to get it almost all the time. Um, I tap back into the game. Yeah. Cool. You're the best. Yep. Um, and I think that getting layer one before you tag is huge for a lot of reasons, and it also gives you an extra fucking layer. Um, oh, fuck me. And then pretend that you're actually smart enough to get a normal out and not care and cancel the normal. And again, I'm pretty sure the normal that you want to be doing is palm. I'm just not smart enough to do that. It's literally impossible. Nobody can do it. Um, you can do other setups too. I just would mostly do that. Uh, that, that would be my, my end game because it works all strange. It's great. Um, and and <gasps> focus on getting to that. Like all your combos, all your gameplay should just be. Yeah. I, I, I know like I'm a set play flowchart person. I, and everyone will complain about it, but I think your team is so well made to do some set play over and over and over. Yeah, Just yeah, rinse yeah. repeat. Um, think about what you're doing to end strings with strange. If they're not push blocking, or sorry, if they are push blocking, you can think about doing stuff like this uh, because they can't launch it if they, if, if they push block. If they are push blocking, or sorry, if they're not push blocking, or if they're smart, um, a lot of this, or a lot of. Um, the fly and fly. Uh, the, the, the fly and fly is harder because you actually have to get the on-fly on time. Uh, yeah. Um, with Dante, I would do this more uh, to get out safe, or I would just, I, I mean, I need to do this more too. A slight delay and then this to catch push block. Um, this string to catch push block. Uh, and, and just be a little bit more willing to reset neutral. I would try to get the other person to respect um, teleport tag, except at a timing that makes sense. Dante teleport is very slow. Um, uh, so, some some variants. Oh, that there. was interesting. Yeah, I have no idea what the fuck happened. There. <laughs> oh, it's because that is so amazing. Is it because um, I'm holding back? Maybe I don't know. The point is that. Hey, let me um, do that without me holding back. Um, yeah. Ow. Well, no, no, no. That, that was different. What the fuck oh, is going on? I'm just oh, holding is it back. Because of That's... these? I bet it's because of these. Hang on. Um. No, 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 no. Ah, it, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so obviously not, not exactly that in the corner. But I think that oh. um, you could, with your team, and, and I see people do this sometimes, if you teleport and then you tag, 
that means the teleport, which is normally punishable, is not. And if they're trying to punish the teleport, they get blown up. If they're just throwing the tag, they can't do that. But if they're just waiting for the tag, then especially if you do this teleport with Strange, uh, or, or if you, you, you do stuff with Dante, uh, um, if they're waiting for the tag to throw the tag, then, then you, can, you can mess with that. Dante raw teleport is never never safe if they're not doing anything. If they are doing stuff, you can do it. Or again, if they're you know trying to jump and teleport and you're just like, ha ah, there's a tag. Uh, and you do it in, in a way where the tag crash connects. And that's, I, I want to be very clear. Do it sometimes. Make him respect. Uh, and then when he's, he, he gets to the point where he's wasting brain power waiting for you to do that and, and like uh, afraid to do stuff, then, then stop doing it and do other things. But yeah, uh, pay attention to angles. Um, I'm block for a second. Me block? Just, yeah, just block. No, stand block. No, stand block. So I would, I would love to see a little bit more of like this stuff, and then you know what I mean, like. Oh uh, yeah, 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 no, no, no. Your, your your team can't do that. Uh, block. Um, and then you, you know what I mean. So you're maintaining the position. You're making yeah. him eat two yeah. mix-ups if you want. It's just like well, no, set that's, up, that's set up into point. setup. Um, yeah. the the reason that you would do that specifically is because Strange just leaves the screen. Yep. Um, I like, can get punished. Yeah. 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 Um, you. Yeah, that's true. Um, th that might maybe less of a of a strange thing. Maybe you can do. You could do that uh, if you wanted to bomb more tan. But um, yeah. I just mean that style of thing. Like throw a bunch of like, basically instead of like set up with Dante, go in with Dante. Set up with Dante to let you set up with Strange to then go set up with Strange. Yeah, I would, and, I would, and do that reverse on the other side too. I, I would add a caveat that that Dante often can just go in better on his own than Strange can. Um, I feel you, yeah. but I just think with layering those two things with teleports, I, I just see such potential in this team. Um, <laughs> like, also, Mr. IQ, yeah, I, I think that that I, I believe that that specific Strange setup should be your go-to layer one, and because you get a layer two off of it, you get a layer two. Yeah, like why not? You know. If if you get an unweighted fifty fifty into safe pressure before your normal safe pressure, like why not? Um, and and yeah, I think that uh, doing things that would normally be unsafe and then tagging at the time that they punish is the most annoying thing of all time as the defending player, because you're like this guy is an idiot. He is doing this punishable move, and then you press your punish, and then fucking four frame combo starter, uh, <laughs> four frame plus forty on block combo starter, right? Like yeah. Um, And again, play the fight again. Um, the other, the other really big thing is that I would try to have um, this shit, uh, where again, pretend that I'm like hair canceler normals, um, where you do one mix, you immediately super, you do a bunch of buttons with strange, and then you do the other super. You should lab that out. You should figure out what works for you. Um, but you, you should be able to do order of magnitude six k, which will kill a character at forty percent because of the way health bars work. Uh, same thing. Uh, if a person is in the, in the box, do very short mix or very short combo, and then pretend that I can do combos today. Very short combo mix level three. Uh, you almost never want to cash out with level three unless you absolutely have to, uh, or it'll kill. Right? Yeah. Um, is there anything else that we went over that should be in the recap? I don't think so. Oh. Maybe, maybe just thinking about resource management a little bit. Oh, yeah, I mean, a little bit. I think that... Um, Not that he's bad at it. Mr. Well, everybody's bad at it. Mr. Wolf's point... Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> the, the counter switch that you did, in retrospect, having, having seen it, was very, like, you counter switch to throw with an 80% health character to bring in the 20% health character, which is, I mean, tournament nerves. Um, but at the same time, that should not be your goal. I think that... Uh, a lot of the UK people that I've seen counter switch a little bit too often, uh, and you're definitely not the, the, the worst among them. Um, but like Jake probably counter switched like four times too many, given that he was playing Soul in your set. Um, because like, yeah, I, I think that if I was Jake, I would want my team to die in a specific order every time. Um, yeah. Cool. No, I'm just. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like. When I watch other people do VOD reviews, especially in other games, a lot of the times people will get hung up on like um, little micro mistakes, and it's like, a, it's not helpful, um, but b, uh, like, 
even if it is helpful, like you're wasting so much time uh, pointing out one small mistake that doesn't doesn't make that that, that big of a difference. Um, yeah, Mr. Mr. Wolf's point is is very real that that the counter switch, being more cognizant of resources and thinking a little bit more about when to counter switch and when not to counter switch is, um, is a different adjustment than other things, and it's the thing that may be easier to make than other things. Um, yeah, well, the same thing also if you're if you are paying attention um, and you're thinking about it and you're not uh, immediately counter switching, then that gives you the opportunity to counter switch a great and save moves more. Um, oh yeah, 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 also when you tag strange, please do something. Um, especially if you, when the other person counter switches, especially uh, you, you wanna tag very quickly, you wanna let the tag crash hit and then you wanna think about doing stuff. You can dash cancel tag crash and then you can combo off the dash cancel uh, you can jump, you, sorry, you can jump cancel tag crash. So um, this is not good mix, um, especially because I can't do it, but you can char hop there if you want to, or you can do a low, or you can dash bomb, uh, or you can rough lie. Uh, I made the argument that I think that um, Strange's high low mix is better than I thought it was previously because you can do an arbitrary number of, of stuffs when you're falling, um, and Mr. Pussant could not block it. Uh, birthdays. Okay. Think about birthdays. Um, do something deliberate or immediately drop the assist. Either or. Doesn't matter. With your team, the easy things, um, tag and hold back. Um, this is brain dead. And then you, you do that. And I probably should have swept there uh, because I got the hit. Um, Put it in some of this too if you wanted to try oh, some yeah, of that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know. The other one, um, same thing. Block it, hold back. Um, uh, something like that. And then do it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. but um, loop it. And th that'll reset the assist. It's, neither of those things are particularly hard. There is more advanced stuff um, and fancier stuff that you can do, but I think it's beyond the scope of what I want to talk about right now. Um, cool. Do you have any questions for any reason? That's an open, does anybody have any questions? Nobody has any questions. Mr. Gimbal, would you like to begin researching the spider, the time spider? Oh, C4 has a question. What is the question? Uh, Mr. Jake would uh, would like to know if you will sign his T-shirt. You, not me. Me? Yeah. For what? Sure. I mean, yeah, but sure. <laughs> what what T-shirt? Um, I think that Strange is based on what I've seen. Strange is probably a more rewarding character from from your playstyle. I could be completely wrong on that. Um, but. Uh, Ultron is the thing that I keep saying about Ultron is that Ultron is less straightforward Nova, right? Like, why wouldn't you just play Widow Nova? W Nova has very brain dead day one stuff, and then you can always transition to Ultron later if you want to. Um, Ultron has a lot of tools that are really, really powerful, but you need to be subtle about how you apply them um, because they don't work in a very straightforward sense. Whereas Nova just throws himself at the other person, and then if they block, you super or you don't super. And they're like, ah, oh, this guy's got a super. And then uh, <laughs> you're safe because they expected you, you, you super, right? Um, yeah. How, how long has uh, he played Strange as well? Uh, Mr. Jonesy? Um, yes. I think all the UK people were picking up the game towards the end of last year, and they've been playing on and off. Um, Jonesy uh, plays like at least three games, or he does commentary for at least three games. Jonesy's a famous commentator. Uh, who is, I believe that you were on like DNF Dual Worlds, right? Oh, uh, all, all that is to ask, uh, it took me a long time to feel actually comfortable with Strange and like to think about the angles and to think about all the options. Like I I fell into Jetta pretty quickly where I was like, oh, I can make this character grow really quickly because I have kind of both the basics of movement down and the basics of game plan. Whereas to ingrain strange took me a lot longer just he's he, he's got a kind of weird yeah, yeah gameplay yeah. that has a lot of it has a lot of holes in it 
And so you really yeah. got to learn how to plug all those holes. I think the thing that frustrates me a lot uh, when, when I play against Strange is he does this uh, because that's really fast and you just get a full, full combo if they're jumping at you. Uh, and once you give him space, then he does this. And then it's like, ah. And it's like just the... Because he doesn't have legs, right? Like, if, if I do this, he can't hit me on the ground. Um, hit me. <laughs> like, yeah, it's this so time, egregious. Yeah. And pro probably this. That could yeah, be. yeah, yeah. It's, it's so bad. And then this is, like, one of the faster buttons in the game. But it's it's, it's a fierce as far as everything is coded. So it's absurdly good. He's he's and super this good. specifically, dash into that is, like, He's super powerful. good. But he's, like, he's like the Hawkeye flavor is sort of weird good rather than the straightforward flavor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But Nova's brain dead, and everybody should be playing Nova, including me. I think here, like, let me. Please don't judge us too bad, because I have no idea how to play Dante. But I just want to demonstrate <laughs> some of like what I'm thinking. <laughs> like, there's some lab stuff that you could do with this team that I just think if you sat there and like, oh, uh, mm -hmm. it would be the most frustrating thing. Like, ah. on what's that? Okay, so like, and then what is the? No, um, what's the one where he like charges yeah, at this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you have time to do so much, like, whatever you want. Sorry, I don't know who's that. This thing... Uh, where's the... Down heavy on. punch? That. Oh. That thing... You know, you're, you're cognizant of what I'm doing and moving around it, but... If you can use those things all in tandem, there's got to be so many mix-ups that's just... You're making them wake up into, like, nine different... You know, yeah. I'm not a Dante player. I, would, well, I just I, mean, man, the, I have such belief in it. The, the point that I was making to, to, to Mr. Pussink is that um, I feel like Dante can be mega annoying with that stuff on its own, and it's strange doesn't make it more or less annoying. It's just there's suddenly a strange on the screen. It's, it's at risk of being counterattacked. Um, Ultron can't do this uh, anywhere near, and I don't play Nova, so uh, you can do like. You get like eight or nine of those, and it's just a true block string, and they can't do anything. And at any point, you can just go down, which is really annoying. Ultron has a much harder time of doing that. Um, if anybody blocks anything with Nova, uh, that's the most brain dead hard to blockable in the game. A back javelin is really annoying, and not the hardest thing in the world to convert off of, especially if you have three bars for some reason. Um, this has a crap ton of priority. I don't think. It, it might be slightly invincible, and you can. Uh, oh, what this? Just because I suck doesn't mean you suck too. Like I have literally zero execution. Zero execution. Literally zero execution. So yeah, drop that. Um, <laughs> uh, Nova doesn't See, have cool combos. Uh, like like absolutely nothing cool. Um, I can't do that shit. I have no <laughs> idea how you do that so fast. Uh, practice. Like, like actually. Um, so oh. the, the thing is, um, after the unfly, just immediately do... So, so you unfly and then you immediately do the the, 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 forward, the second forward fierce. So it's uh, fierce, unfly... It's not and getting my unfly. Fierce. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, the buffer window is doing a lot of work when I do that. Like um, Yeah. I just can't do that. Yeah. Um... <laughs> How do you do two of those on the way down? Yeah, I, buffer windows do a lot of work. Okay, um, that's yeah. Um, no, brain dead. And then like the fact that he has, uh, so he's got the, you know that when you're super tagging on a guy, um, if if you're not garbage, this is like one of the more annoying instant overheads in the game. Um, and he has that in addition to. You know, that stuff. I don't know. I, I think Nova is... I, I don't necessarily think he's better than Ultron. I think he's much more straightforward, though. Um, and I think that that's, that's... At this point in my life, probably the thing that I value more about the character than thinking of, you know. The only reason I play Ultron is because he, he has cool-looking combos. And I just need to get more... More consistent with Nova. Ah. Too hard. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, okay. Um, cool. So in that case, I'm going to cut the stream. No execution. 
Yeah, thanks for having me on, man. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, take care. Goodbye. Drop in Discord.